Careful. Careful. Wonder where this will lead. Careful, careful. will lead. Thirtieth of May. This morning we entered uncharted territory, leaving the sunbleached bones of dead horse camp behind. It seems the tables have turned on Rally, almost quite literally. His bandaged leg has slowed his pace and made him the tail of our party. When Father notices, he slows, turning around to give us both an encouraging smile. His overly eager step betrays his calm demeanor as he rushes past us at the sight of every nearing turn, ridge, or embankment. May Ergu be the one to chart the path from this life to the next, so that we may all travel safely. What do we have here?
got to be the way up. Miguel? Where are you? Oh no. <sighs> Miguel? Miguel? Every part of the world seems to have its own mythical, forest-dwelling, bipedal creature. Around here, it's known as the Sissamite, the guardian of the forest. Described as large and ape-like, it's rumored to kill male humans on sight, but takes the females to its cave for mating purposes. Thirtieth of May. Thirtieth of May. This morning we entered uncharted territory, 
leaving the sun-bleached bones of dead horse camp behind. It seems the tables have turned on Rally, almost quite literally. His bandaged leg has slowed his pace and made him the tail of our party. When Father notices, he slows, turning around to give us both an encouraging smile. His overly eager step betrays his calm demeanor as he rushes past us at the sight of every nearing turn, ridge, or embankment.
That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! of June. Father's outward enthusiasm is at an all-time high, though I have doubts. In the middle of the night, I have caught the whites of his eyes reflecting moonlight, his stare vacantly locked to the stars. Were it not for all the stories he has shared of the Amazon in the past, I would mistake his gaze as regretful, even mournful. Perhaps it is simply these insects making their way through our head nets causing him such consternation. You know what happened to Miguel? He didn't make it. <sighs> What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. <sighs> you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should 
Stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward. <laughs> Flying into that storm. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kowakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. 